Hey, old Big Bob. So, the world seemingly has gone absolutely just over the top insane. I, I don't really know where to even start. I did want to say, though, that if you have a sport or if you have an activity or a game, there's rules, you know, and referees have rules, you know, take care of the, uh, uh, you know, the sport. They make sure that things are done fairly and they blow their whistle. And if you didn't have refs, what are you going to have, you know? What, what kind of sport would that be? So think about that. Defund the police, let's have social workers go out. I mean, if a man is just beating the snot out of his wife, you know, he's not gonna be very amicable to you. Well, how do you feel? Tell me, sir, seriously, how do you feel? Are you feeling a little angry right now? I mean, I heard this tape of the woman, she was um, in her car with her baby and the people were, you know how you've seen it, they're jumping out of the car and they're screaming and yelling. She's calling. And she says, well, why don't you call City Hall? Call City Hall. Leave them a message, you know, let them know how you feel. <laughs> it's insane. And all of this is, has nothing to do. I'm beginning to get the idea that people don't want to talk. They want to just give their opinion and there's no debate. Just saw a, a commentator talking about how colleges are like 50 to 1 you know, ultra left. And if there's no debate, if there's no back and forth, if there's no argument, if there's no if there's no discussion, it's just like I've always said, you know, it's not good for man to be alone. It's not good for one side of the equation to have the only say so. You know, I've talked to many, many people and they say that look, you know, we can't say anything. We can't uh, say anything. We can't do anything. We are helpless. We have to just keep our mouth shut. We say something, then we might be affected badly. That's not right. That's that's sick. If you can't say anything that's not, you know, according to what somebody else feels like, and then if you've seen them, they're, they're going to yell and scream and get angry and, you know, go berserk and we'll burn it down and, Pray for our country. I think that's the main thing. Pray for our country and pray that we can have a reasonable discussion, have a conversation, have a debate. <clears throat> I had a discussion with a family member who thought that, because you might tell my car, this is not my car, I'm in a rental car. And um, so the family member is almost like it's almost like a voodoo thing, you know, like, <laughs> they're almost like flipping over happy because my car is messed up. But I thought about today, I thought, you know, well, if you bought a newer car, you wouldn't have these problems. So if I buy a new car, I'll never have any mechanical problems. That doesn't make any sense either. I mean, every car has maintenance. I talked to my sister and she said that, yeah, you know, her husband, he runs a pool business. He has a truck. I don't know if he got the truck new, but the truck was fairly new. You know, it's, he didn't buy a jalopy, you know, and who uses that word? <laughs> but uh, and my sister, she got a Honda. She had a Honda for years and, you know, they took care of it. And my, my brother-in-law, I think he has like a GMC or something, but he has some sort of truck. And, and guess what? I'm always hearing about, oh, in this, in the shop, it's in the shop, it's in the shop. Cars take maintenance. And if I were to, to buy a car for like $16,000, and then on top of that, you know, have to have maintenance, and then on top of that have to pay sky-high DMV fees and sky-high insurance fees, and then it would be insane. You'd be like, wow, that's crazy, Bob. Oh, my phone fell off the door pole. I fallen, but I got him back up. So the thing is, is that I paid very little for the Volvo I have. So 
even though I've had to pay a thousand, five hundred, thousand, six hundred, whatever it's going to work out to be. So, okay, now my car cost, it's still well under ten thousand dollars. I didn't have to pay hardly anything for it. And it's a great vehicle, you know, it had an alternator problem. Then the alternator overheated and it, it affected the power. So, all right, so, you know, a little glitch. But, you know, the last car I had had a transmission issue. So, you know, but I fixed it and then, you know, we just roll along. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep that Volvo rolling. Keep that Volvo rolling along. July 9th the big day. So pray for July 9th. I'll talk to you soon and keep talking, keep conversing. I was moving some things today from my friend and I put all these glasses up on the counter. I put three glasses. And when I moved the box, the lid of the box tipped one of the wine glasses and it went and I thought, oh, I hate messing up. I hate sharing bad news. But I thought, well, you gotta do it. So I gave you a said, how'd it go? They gave me a good opening. He said, how'd it go? How'd it go? I said, well, everything was great, you know. Stephanie had packed everything really well. I said, you packed it really well. We, we literally went like two miles, so it's like we weren't going to Wisconsin. And uh, I said, the problem was is that the glass out of the box, everything's perfect, okay? I'm just stepping away, just stepping away, you know. And... <laughs> So stuff happens, you know, but they didn't, they didn't get all into it. It was good. All right, give me a call. 213-713-8954. 8954-GREEN. <sighs> That's the email. 8954-GREEN at att.net. On the Twitter, Mr. Bob, 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 8954. And I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. I'm just like, I'm a media darling. Love you. Remember, number one, talk with people. Don't, don't dominate. Don't say, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Don't say that, just say, you know, I don't agree or I don't understand or, you know, whatever it is you wanna say. And then if you're gonna criticize somebody about, about a purchase, I guess that's, that's fair, you know. And then, but if they give you feedback that seems to balance it out, you know, well, you spent too much money. Have I spent 16000 yet? Well, no. Well, talk to me when I spent $16,000. Then we'll start having a conversation about how, well, that's more expensive than we got a new one. You know, but I haven't spent that much. I don't think I will. I've had Volvos for like 35 years, and uh, I never never had any trouble, really. Just regular service and things, you know. That's why I have a service guy who, uh, you know, I've known for 35 years. And they're like really awesome, they're like family, so. All right, no criticism here. And by the way, good night, good day, good afternoon to my wonderful wife and my daughter and love you guys, you guys are awesome. I have to see a little Bethany Rose sometimes. She's the most, she's an angelic, angelic person. And my wife is, uh, is a good example of this whole process. If I hadn't married my wife, then I would just be like on my own, just spinning. But with my wife, it's the yin and yang. It's the, it's the here and there. It's, you know, she's a star and I'm trying to catch up. I've got a wacky idea and she straightens me out. You know, there's all kinds of uh, ways to explain it, but the Bible basically says it's not good for man to be alone. So that's, that's we're just going with the Bible. All right. Good night. God bless. See ya.